Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my latest video. This week's video, we're going to get into, in my opinion, one of the most underappreciated boxing legends, which is Bernard Hopkins. And so if you're not familiar with Bernard Hopkins, he comes from a rough area in Philadelphia. And basically by the age of 13, he was actually stabbed three times and one almost pierced through his heart, one of the stab wounds. And later on in life, he had nine felonies he had racked up, and at age 17, he got sentenced to 18 years in jail and ended up only doing five. But that's where his amazing story begins. So when he was leaving jail after the five years of serving, the warden basically told him, we'll be seeing you real soon back there again. And Bernard Hopkins told him, you'll never see me again in this jail. And basically at 23, he had his turn pro and he ended up fighting Roy Jones. And at that time, Roy Jones, just a, a le another legend in the sport, really. And he beat Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins gave him a good fight, though. Bernard, at that time, wasn't really in his prime, in my opinion, though. He was just getting into the sport at that time. So, yeah, Roy Jones defeats him. Bernard Hopkins says to himself, either I'm going to be a contender or I'm going to be one of the best in the sport. And Bernard Hopkins made the decision that he was going to put in the time and work and become a legend in the sport. And really, if you're not familiar with Bernard, the things that jump off the bat to me of Bernard Hopkins, great distance, he always controls the distance in fights, great job, great defense, uh, kind of a dirty fighter in a way. He he knows what to get away with. This guy doesn't miss a trick. He's a savvy veteran. Um, one of the most technical fighters in the game I've seen in my in my time of watching boxing anyways. And just outstanding overall. You name it, this guy's good at a good conditioning. He can do everything. Uh, just a great overall fighter. And you see him even now at age 49. He can outwork guys a lot younger than him, which is amazing. Um, yeah, some records that Bernard Hopkins has is he's defending the middleweight championship 20 times, which is a record. He also did something the great Sugar Ray Robinson, who in my opinion is the best boxer of all time, couldn't do, and that was move up from middleweight to weight divisions and win the light heavyweight championship. So the great Sugar Ray Robinson can accomplish that goal. And also Bernard Hopkins in the middleweight division is the only fighter to ever hold the four titles. So he held the WBC, WBA, WBO, and IBF championship. And at age 46, he beat George Foreman's record by winning a championship when he defeated John Pascal. And it goes to show you this guy's mental games because in Bernard Hopkins, in one of his fights with Pascal, this guy's doing push-ups late in the later rounds of the fight. And you can see John Pascal was starting to get winded and was winded. And Bernard Hopkins is there doing push-ups in the middle of the ring. This guy's 46 years old. Uh, just incredible. <laughs> Like, you don't see stuff like that. And, yeah, just outstanding. And basically some big wins in his career. Also, just another point, too, uh, when he won the title at age 46, he broke that record from Foreman, which I just mentioned. But I also forgot to mention that at age 48, he actually won the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship. So at age 48, he broke his own record. And the oldest champion in the history of the sport of boxing is 48, which is Bernard Hopkins. Uh, basically, some big wins in his career. Fought Felix Trinidad, 4-1 to underdog. Getting more into his mental game because he's one of the best fighters in the mental aspect in the sport. He basically took Felix Trinidad's uh, Puerto Rican flag because they were in Puerto Rico promoting the fight and threw it on the ground. And by doing that, he said that he knew Felix Trinidad was going to try to kill him and therefore get off his game plan which it did perfectly because all the people in Puerto Rico were saying, you need to get Hopkins for our country. You need to get vengeance. And that's what he did. Brad Hopkins ended up stopping him late. Kelly Pavlik at the time, um, he was a big champion, 4-1 to one favorite against Bernard. Bernard puts on a boxing clinic for him, defeats him easily. Then Bernard later again defeats Antonio Tarver when Antonio Tarver is a favorite in that fight. And defeats him easily. Uh, Bernard Hopkins also uh, TKO'd Oscar De La Hoya with a body shot. He defeated Roy Jones later on in his career. And Roy was past his prime. 
He defeated William Joppy, Winky Wright, first man to knock out uh, Glenn Johnson. Just outstanding victories. These are world-class fighters that he's defeated. Sean Pascal, another guy defeated. I mean, just amazing. Some of the names on this guy's resume. And basically, another mental thing about Bernard Hopkins, a great story Andre Ward tells on Fight Hub TV, is basically when Bernard Hopkins... He'll go to tap a guy on the shoulder and he'll end up patting him in the stomach. And most people would be like, oh, that's just, you know, if you're looking at it, you just think he's saying hello. Actually, what he's doing is he's, when he pats on the stomach, he's checking to see if you're in shape. And that's just Bernard Hopkins always thinking and just a clever individual. And Bernard Hopkins in his career had all kinds of issues with promoters. He hated promoters and basically he was a man who built his career the way he wanted it. And that's something I really admire about Bernard Hopkins. And to me, yeah, you're never going to see a guy like this. I mean, this guy's 49 years old right now. In his last fight, put on a great performance against Marat and a real exciting fight. Most fans consider it one of his most exciting fights in a long time. This at age 49, just amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. An absolute legend of the sport. And if you don't know Bernard, check out his fights. Just, well, can't say enough good things about him. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Bernard Hopkins, if you're familiar with him, what are some of your favorite fights, and what your opinion is on his legacy. Because to me, they say Floyd, like a lot of Floyd fans say, he's the best ever. Floyd says that. And to me, Floyd's never going to accomplish some of the things Bernard Hopkins did. I don't think it's going to be close. Some of these records, I think, will stand the test of time. And just salute to a great legend of Bernard Hopkins. And thank you very much, guys, for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, amazing story.